Hi, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to reduce the, the number of triangles in our iClone props. Not only reduce the number of triangle, but also bake all the material, all the mesh, multiple mesh, bake into one single mesh, multiple material into one single material. So for this prop, if I edit in 3D exchange, we can see this prop have multiple mesh, multiple mesh here, and also multiple material, so many. Everything just want to simplify it. And also reduce the triangle, this can make your 3D animation less lag and everything will be run smooth and be faster. So first what we need to do is we export this out through the 3D exchange pipeline. As demo I will just export as FBX. FBX file, this one I choose Maya. So take these two and then make sure you embed the texture as demo I will just put on my desktop click OK. The file name I will just put 001 as short as possible like this because the simply gone it only accept the short name like this. So as demo I will just put 001 I put then I click OK. Now it, it exported out as FBX file. The next step I open the Simply Gone and drag into the Simply Gone. Click Import. Next, what I need to do is okay. Now we are at the setting. I click Setting Editor. Make sure I click the lock and unlock everything. Then back to the setting. The selected one actually is two. That's remeshing and material baking. So now I click again to make sure I clear everything, make it disappear. So the first step what we need to do, this is high poly 14,000 triangle, 14,000 faces. So I click reduction. Let's say if I only want 5,000. I click triangles and limit it to 5000. Next, click the material baking component. Then, plus the, the channel, the diffuse, I click the plus here. Make sure the channels select RGB and output as RGB, you need to deactivate it. Now I can click to process now. When it turns green, means it, it is ready. So now just wait for a while. So now after ready, just need to click import. Then you can compare before and after. Here you can see the black color, actually it doesn't matter. Later everything will be fine. So this one you can just ignore. Now I will export this file, export, export the scene. Here choose FBX and I put on my desktop. Here I put 002, save it, export. So after you export it, it is under 002LOD1. This one. I can just put into the iClone and have a look. Now I delete this. Then I drag this into my iClone. 
just have to check. So now you can see, you check the material, it already baked all the material into one single material, one single texture only. Then you look, the selected triangle is 5000. It already reduced to become low poly and now it's even more smooth. It won't feel so lag. So actually we still not yet complete. If you put into the 3D exchange, then just wait for a while. Then you can see which one? We need to put the 002 LOD one. Sorry, this is the wrong one, not 001. We need this 002 LOD one. Just to drag in, click OK. You can see number of visible face count is 5000. It already reduced, but it still have maintained multiple mesh. So we need to use the simply gone again drag in the 002 LOD1, drag in, then import and start a new object. Don't save this. Okay, again. So now what you need to do is you deactivate this tool to make it empty and you choose aggregation component, make sure you activate the merge geometry and deactivate the merge materials. Then you click to process. After you finish, still the same, you click import. Now actually the texture is missing, but you no need to worry. You just export it out first because the texture is already embedded. So now I can just export this as 003. File, export, scene, choose FBX, then name it 003. Save. Export. Now it is inside the folder 003 LOD1. Okay. Back to your 3D exchange, you just need to drag in. The moment you drag in, you can see it extract all the embedded texture here inside this folder. So double click this folder and you find this diffuse drag into the texture. And then this is the final step already. You can see multiple meshes it already reduced and merge all the geometry into one single mesh. Now I can clear my iClone, I delete this. I apply to iClone. This one, it should be RGB. You can see the texture is only one single texture and this is just one single mesh and it become low poly and it won't be so lag now. Everything going smooth. And now you can see the bump also missing. So you can check back your 003 folder. This one, 003 LOD 1.FBM. And this is the normal. So drag into the bump. Then click OK. Now everything very nice now. It is low poly, smooth, single texture, big, and also single geometry, single mesh. Now I can save this inside under my content. Click here, click custom, and click the prop. Now I click plus. And set this as a new prop. Building 01. So next time I can use it again as a low poly prop. And this is how we 
simplify our icon 3D models and make it low poly, single mesh and single material. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these video tutorials are very helpful to you, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell so that when next time I publish a new tutorial, you will receive the notification immediately. See you in my next video.